The uBoot source code that I got is from Xilinx's GitHub repository. You can simply perform a git clone command of the repository and place it anywhere, but I'm doing a git submodule add command here because I'm already working in the git repository. The submodule add just lets git know that I want to make the Xilinx uBoot repo a submodule of my existing git repo. That way, when you go to my GitHub and clone my Robodog project, you'll pull the source code from their repo as well. Once this finishes downloading from GitHub, cd into the uBoot Xilinx directory and run the source command on Vivado's settings64.sh script. If you have a 32-bit computer, you'd run the 32-bit version script instead. This will set the environment variables in your current shell so that when you build uBoot, the build system will know where to find all the proper tools. Next, you should check out the 2019.2 version of uBoot. For some reason, later versions of uBoot, at least at the time of making this video, don't have the configuration files necessary to build the Zybo Z7 target. I've also tested and verified this version of uBoot in the past with the Zybo board, so we'll be using this version going forward. Because this version of uBoot has the proper config files for our target, we can just run make zinc Zybo Z7 config, and the uBoot build system will set that config file to be used when we build uBoot. The last thing to do is just build uBoot with the following command. This command says to build the uBoot source code with the ARM, NUN, EABI cross-compiler using all of the available CPU cores on your computer. Once the build is finished, you'll see a uBoot.elf file in the uBoot Xilinx directory.